preparation of our machine before installation, we want to add our power plug, which is our 6-20P, to the plug itself. We also want to make a slight cut here on the top connector. Easy to go smoother than this. And this is going to be our little locking pin. So in place, we've added to the base, and that's what locks the machine from sliding forward. Let's go through a little bit of the connections. On the top is our milk signal connection, followed by our cold water. In the future, we'll have juice. We're going to add our signal cable for our sparkling water. And then down here, we're going to add our flush line from our ice bank, our coffee, if you remember from the swan neck, the hot water, which is going to go to that T on the swan neck, and then the steam, which comes right from the swan neck as well. In our filter kit, that third filter for steam, well, that's our filter in as well as our filter out. In addition to that, that's our inlet water. Remember the connection we made to fill the ice bank and we took it out? Well, that, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna install it right here. And that's it for our connections for the machine. In our hookup diagram, you notice these connections here is actually the back of our machine, followed right down to the power cord. Taking it from the top, our signal connection, milk pump, and if we follow A, goes right to, inside the refrigerator, the milk pump. Cold water, number two, goes right to connection in the back of the ice bank for cold water. We skip one and go to sparkling water, same on our diagram, skip one, sparkling water, goes right to in the back of our ice bank. Our next connections is gonna be the flush water, which is gonna come from the milk right into flush line followed by coffee, which is number one, or excuse me, two, that goes right into coffee. And that's right from our swan neck. Number three is gonna be our steam, which is gonna go right here. And then our water, which is gonna come off this tea, hot water is right here. Now we look at our filters. We have our pure filter, number seven, going into the filter and that's to filter. And then out of the filter, number nine, goes right to from filter. Remember we made the main water connections. We went to the main water in, and out is gonna go water in here. And now we've made our complete connections on the back of the machine. Our filter, our inlet water, our swan neck, our signal cables. We have mission accomplished. We've completed our installation. Now that we have the machine in place, we secured the base to the cabinet, we made our signal connections. The top one is our milk pump, followed by our cold water. Skipping juice, we go right into sparkling water, and those are our electro connections. This is our flush line from the milk pump. Going to the swan neck is our coffee, our hot water, and our steam. Below is to our steam filter, which is in the back here. This is from filter and to filter, two bottom ones here. And the middle is our inlet water, and that's why we have the locking ring. Remember, anytime that we have water going in or out, we add the connection here.